Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Heisey. I'm a mom of a three-year-old toddler named Alina and I'm currently 37 weeks pregnant with our baby number two. In today's video, I'm going to be turning our guest bedroom into a Montessori toddler bedroom for my three-year-old. The last time I updated Alina's bedroom was when Alina was about 18 months old and now she's three years old so she's a lot more independent in the room. So I want to create a space for Alina that promotes her independence and autonomy me also where it really reflects her developmental capabilities so let's just go ahead and jump in and i'll kind of explain everything as we go okay i just want to give you guys a peek at what the room looked like before it's just a simple guest bedroom with a bed and a bedside tables so we're going to move this bed to the other room first so we're expecting our baby number two in about a month time so we decided to make some changes in the house and switch rooms so this guest bedroom is going to be alina's bedroom and alina's current bedroom will be a nursery and our office is going to be an office slash guest bedroom Now the room is finally all cleaned out and ready for the new bed. This bed is not a Montessori floor bed, it's just a regular single bed with guards. I thought about getting her another floor bed but we didn't because Alina is now big enough to be able to get in and out of a bigger bed like this. So we bought a bed that really reflects her taste so she absolutely loves the color of the bed and the style of the bed. and. I love it because with guarded sides, it just gives me a peace of mind that Alina's gonna be safe and secure in the bed through the night. Now I'm going to work on the wall with these decals, the wall stickers. If I had enough budget, I would have installed wallpapers instead of decals. I mean, wallpapers are expensive, it's around 500 bucks at least I think for a room like this, but they give you a really nice finish and it'll be the statement piece of the room. I'm not sure if I really like these decals. I picked out safari animals and some flower decals and I kind of mixed match them, but they are a lot smaller than I thought. I think it's alright. Alina said she likes it, so I guess that's all it that matters. They're super easy to install, they are really affordable as well. Mines are from Korea, I think it was like 30 bucks. So if you're thinking of doing a room makeover, using this kind of decals are the most simple, easiest and cheapest way of giving a room a change. But just you know, once your child realizes that these are the stickers and once they have the dexterity, your child might want to peel them off and have a lot of fun with them. Alina never did and I know she won't but I actually don't recommend these decals for young toddlers room.
It took me a very long time to find a perfect dresser. I wanted a dresser that's simple, practical, aesthetically pleasing to look at, and most importantly, safe. When I say a safe dresser, I wanted a wide and low dresser that doesn't have to be attached to the wall. This IKEA Nodley dresser ticks all the boxes and makes the perfect dresser for Alina's bedroom. It's a little taller than standard chair, but it still works well as bench sitting, so Alina can just sit and read books here. She can use this area as a desk if she likes. It has soft closed drawers that makes it even safer. Right next to her dresser is her clothes rack. As you can see, we don't use hangers, we have S-shaped hooks on the rack instead. This setup was introduced to Alina when she just turned two, and when I made a video about this rack, which was almost a year ago, I said I will give you guys updates on what worked and what didn't work. So we're still using this setup, so obviously it's working really well. So she can come and independently choose what she wants to wear that day, as opposed to using hangers, getting and retrieving clothes are so much easier for her. The the process of trying to put clothes on the hanger and trying to hook it on the rack can be really frustrating for toddlers. I mean, Alina's three now, so she actually might be able to do it, but Alina's so used to just simply hook her clothes on the rack like this. So I don't see the point of changing the system at the moment. I feel like this setup really allows her to exercise that sense of independence that as a toddler she really craves. The only thing that didn't work was gluing the hooks on the rack. They never stayed on, but it kind of created bumps on the rack and stopped the hooks from moving around. So it didn't work, but it worked to an extent. The next thing I'm going to do is moving some of the things from the old room. Oh. next thing I'm going to do is creating a reading nook. I'm going to reuse the same wall bookshelves from Alina's old room but without using a drill and screwdriver this time because my husband is not quite happy with me going around the house drilling and making holes into the wall to install shelves myself. He thinks I'm making too many holes so I'm using IKEA soft adhesive hooks to hang these instead. Now I'm making Alina's care of self area. I'm using 3M strips to install this mirror at her height.
and I'm going to place a little shelf right here and have all the things that she needs to get herself ready in the morning including her collection of sunglasses and in this basket we have a lotion, purple cream, sunscreen, a hairbrush and a comb So what happens in the morning is that she puts on lotion and sunscreen all by herself, brush her hair and picks out little bows and hairpins and whatnot. And she spends some time trying to do her own hair, which usually gets quite messy. Then she would come and ask for help. And she usually has a very particular hairstyle that she wants in the morning. So I just follow her lead every morning. Now I'm just adding a few little bits and bobs for the final touch. I'm hanging a little artwork, adding a little bunny shaped lamp that Alina loves and it's nice to have a few fresh plants in the space to bring life. And of course we have a baby monitor right up here so that I can get a nice wide angle of the room and the power outlet where everything is plugged in. I'm going to cover it with this thing called Mickey Haha -ha safety cover. It's impossible for a child to open it, so um, it's perfect. And I'm going to attach this motion activated night light right here on the bed. So when Alina gets out of the bed for whatever the reason it is, maybe to use the potty hopefully or just to grab a book, the light turns on. So the room's all done, it's been a few days and Alina has successfully settled into her new bedroom. Alina's asleep right now, I'm just here for the final check before I go to bed. I just wanted to show you guys a couple of more things before I end this video. This is a bedside tray for easy access to things like her water bottle and her lamp for reading that she can turn on and off all by herself. So this is it. I really hope you guys get some ideas and inspiration for things that you can set up for your toddler in their bedroom as well. And just in case you guys are interested in any of the things that you've seen in the video, I'll be sure to put links to all of them or at least the ones that I can find down below in the description box. If you have any questions or there's, if there's anything that you want to add, feel free to leave comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!